What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to A. Nicole Tarot. I am your girl, A. Nicole, and I am here to channel. Okay, some general messages. So come on in. Special shout out to um, the members of my Blue Crew membership. You all are receiving this video early. Okay, um, thank you to everyone for your likes, your shares, and your comments. Special thank you to my booze who be hitting up my tip jar and who have been booking their sessions. <laughs> Excuse me, who have been booking their sessions with me. All right, I really appreciate the love that you give me in the channel. If you would like to join my Blue Crew membership or um, book a session with me, I'll leave that information below. I'll leave all my information below. If you want to know about me? My links, everything, everything is below. But for this um, reading, only take what resonates. First card out, divorce. Ooh. So somebody is experiencing a bad breakup. Damn. Well, spirits say we're going to get straight to it. Okay. So divorce, experiencing a bad breakup. Okay. A painful ending, vacation. Somebody could be going on a vacation, traveling soon. It says you will be traveling soon. Patience, just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. So Spirit is also telling someone not to give up, not to throw in the towel. Okay, to align yourself with the divine's clock and not yours. Man-made timing is totally different than divine timing. Okay, and Spirit is asking you to just hold on. And be patient. Good things are going to come to those who wait. The energy is clearing out, okay? Things are clearing out for a lot of you all. Allow those wheels to turn. Intuition, the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite that ass later. Okay? The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. It could be with a fire sign. Or you could be the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A loved one also watches over you. Okay. Guiding your feet. That's came out before. A loved one could be, could be a fire sign, loved one. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Anything else, Spirit? What are y'all doing? Anything else, Spirit, for my booze? I'll go into the tarot to clarify anything else from my blue spirit. No? Okay. Let's go into the tarot and see what we have. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have. All right. Dear Ancestor and Spirit Team. Let's clarify. The tower card just peeked over at me. So someone could have definitely had some sort of big collapse with a, a, a connection, relationship, a home, a breakup. Somebody definitely had some sort of tower moment. Some of y'all could feel like y'all little world is over. Y'all little world then crumbled. Two of Pentacles. Somebody could have broke up because you found out someone could have been juggling you. Maybe they didn't have their priorities straight with the Two of Pentacles as well. They didn't prioritize you in the connection. Hmm. What else, Spirit? Tell me more about this divorce, this breakup card. Mm, strength. This shit took a lot out of you. Fire sign. Um, Aries energy with the strength card. You could be the, I mean, not the Aries, Leo. Sorry, Leo is a strength card. You could be the Leo. Maybe they're a Leo. But this breakup is really either your this this Leo energy, their Leo energy, or with this breakup, it's cost. It's, it's like testing your strength. I'm hearing it is it's it's really causing you to be strong. But look at the bird; it's out of the cage, and on her little shoulder, you've released yourself. Whatever this breakup was, it was a huge release. Seven of Wands in reverse. This could have been someone. Who you didn't have good boundaries with. Who you didn't stand up to. You didn't protect yourself from. You know, there could have been like, someone could have been letting someone walk all over them. Be controlling. Hmm. You've got seven of wands in reverse. You may have came under the covenant of your spirit team trying to protect you by not 
paying attention to the red flags and keep dealing with this person. Hmm. With this seven of wands um, in reverse, spirit is asking you to have some sort of strength to release yourself. You know, release yourself and set boundaries moving forward. Set parameters moving forward. Stop letting people play in your face. Okay. And so you don't experience, you know, any more bad breakups. I mean, we're going to break up, whatever. But one of the biggest, you know, bad breakup um, accelerants is a lack of fucking boundaries. People walking all over you. People wilding out. People being disrespectful. You know, people trying to run the relationship like death row records. And a lot of that starts from you not putting your foot down. You not showing them, yo, I'm not the one to do that with. You not nipping the shit in the bud in the beginning. You not, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get the fuck up out of here. Mm-hmm. One thing about me, my girlfriends will tell you, I will get the fuck out of Dodge in a second. In a second. I'm not going to sit around, especially once you didn't show me. I'll tell you what, baby. I, I, I had to drop a hoe off um, down at the Greyhound station uh, a couple of days ago. He had me fucked up. And I, no, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and leave this here. It's nothing for me to disconnect from someone, especially in the beginning. Okay? Because I know that this is not going to do anything but snowball into something bigger to the day that I look up. And I'm like, how the fuck did I get here? And how the fuck did we get here? We didn't set boundaries. We didn't do checks and balances. We didn't put our foot down. We didn't stand on business. We didn't leave when we were told to leave. We didn't listen to our intuition. I don't do any of that. When I tell you, you get to a point where you're sick and tired, you move different. I'm not even going to sit here and argue back and forth. I'm not going to tell you what, baby. It doesn't seem like we're on the same wavelength. It doesn't seem like we, we have the same dating styles, communication styles, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. So you can get on and find whatever the fuck you used to. And I can continue on my path and keep aligning to whatever the fuck I'm used to. No hard feelings. And another thing, y'all, I'm Polly. So I, I, I work in abundance. That's an, I, like, I, I'm never without a suitor. So I don't need to hold on and take this and not put my boundaries up. Please okay boys are like buses miss one next 15 one coming okay please yeah i don't come from a place of lack or or scarcity because lack and scarcity have you child mm -hmm. not at the tender age of 40 all right anything else for this bad breakup have the courage and the strength to move the fuck on. The, the, the hangman. Make those sacrifices. See things clearly. See things differently. See things for what it is. Spirit is also telling me with this patience card as well, you all could be feeling like you've been stuck in a limbo. No, Spirit is saying they're trying to show you something. They're trying to change your perspective about something. They're trying to enlighten you about something. You know, so that you know how to move. You know what to sacrifice. You know what to let go of. You know what to let fall by the wayside. Hmm. Vacation is the world card. Ooh, yeah, somebody's going on a vacation with the world card. Ooh, what is all of this? Yeah, somebody is definitely going on a vacation with the world card. You know, you could be going somewhere that requires a passport. Getting out into the world distancing yourself from people places things maybe going on a retreat i'm hearing but yeah someone's definitely going on a vacation or if you've been thinking about it here's your sign to book that book that trip okay the hell i don't know why people like like they'd be like oh i'll i'll vacation when i'm older have you ever seen older people vacation compared to the younger people vacationing child please i mean i'm still gonna travel when i'm older but i'm traveling i've been traveling since a kiddo you know that youthful traveling traveling in your 20s 30s whatever and i'm in my 40s now. i'm 40 now please i'm not traveling when i get 60 70 and all around and retired no first of all what make you think you won't make it that long mm, that's very <laughs> that's 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 very high and mighty of you Get your ass out there and book that trip. 
okay? Stop postponing your happiness, your resting, your vacation. Okay, get out into the world. Patience, tell me more about patience, spirit. If the messages are resonating for you, don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm. And it makes your girl so happy. Patience. That's the temperance card. You could have Sagittarius placements or Sagittarius. Could be. The Hierophant. Two of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Patience. A lot of you all. <sighs> You all, with this Hierophant, this talks about a new um, a new commitment, having new values. This talks about a big change with the Hierophant card. You know, having some sort of big evolution, a big transition, um, a big change, Taurus energy. You know, with the Divorce card, this is also the Divorce card, the Hierophant, Divorce and Marriage card. You know, but we have the Hierophant with the Two of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles. So some of you all may be uncertain if something is going to work out could be uncertain if you know something you've been investing in is going to come to fruition you know the seeds that you've planted you know are they are, are they going to come to fruition is this going to be cool are you going to be abundant and spirit is telling you whatever it is that you've committed to made a commitment to be patient you know you're going to reap a harvest with this seven of pentacles you know some of you all like i said you're on you've been on your own timing and not the divine's timing and because you're on your timing and not the divine's timing you feel like you're behind and you're not you just heating up so spirit is saying don't get in your head don't act like oh i'm uncertain i don't know what's going on don't panic you know believe in the seeds that you're planting and also believe in your harvest Nine of Swords and the Devil. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all been obsessing about something working out. Nine of Swords and the Devil. Yeah, something's had y'all up all night. All night. It could be work-related with the Devil card. The devil is, is Capricorn energy. You know, Capricorn rules the career. And it's ruled by Saturn. And Saturn is about delays. Saturn is about time restraints. Feeling like you're chained to something. You're, you're lacking control of something. You know, and Spirit is saying, have patience. Patience, Siago. Y'all watch uh, Aladdin when Iago was going to fuck off. And Jafar was like, patience, Siago. I be telling that to Taylor. <laughs> she be wilding out. And she's a, a fire sign. She's a Leo. And I be like, patience, Siago. Okay. What else, Spirit? Anything else? Anything else for patience? Yeah, stop obsessing. Stop being up in your head all night, losing sleep. It's going to work out. Okay? It's going to work out. You're going to reap your harvest. All of this is not for nothing. Just be patient. Okay? And while you're being patient, Spirit is saying you're going to change some things. Spirit trying to, with that hangman card, get your attention. Shift your perspective. Enlighten you. Pay attention. Intuition. Man, spirit trying to get your, your attention about something. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. Let's talk about that. Tell me more. Spirit with this intuition card. <sighs> Tell me more, spirit, with this intuition card. You alright? You alright, Barley? Okay. Harley doll. Uh-uh, Harlan. I didn't mean to come over here. I just asked if you was all right. Okay. Hey, Mamisa. Darling. Darlena. Darlena. Her name. <laughs> she has so many nicknames. Okay, Trick Daddy. You too. You too. You too, Papa. You too. I got you. All right. Let me get back to work. Let me get back to work. Let Mom get back to work. Thank you. All right. What else we got? Intuition. The red flag you ignore now will come back to bite later. Ancestors and spirit team, talk to me about my booze intuition. Ancestors and spirit team, can you please talk to me about my booze intuition? Hey, y'all, what the fudge? Huh, don't, don't come over here, Trick Daddy. What the fudge? 
Listen to your intuition. Spirit is telling me it's, they've been nudging you. They're trying to warn you or nudge you or give you the red flags about something. And if you don't, it's going to crumble. You can ignore it if you want to now, but you're going to build whatever that is on shaky ground. And spirit going to come through and pull the rug from, from underneath you. So listen to your intuition. Keep, keep picking up on tower energy. Hmm. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me about my boo intuition, spirit. Nine of cups. Okay, let me get through the shuffle. We got nine of cups and we got knight of wands. Yeah. Listen to your intuition and go after what you want. Yes. Spirit is giving you all downloads. Spirit is telling you all the moves to make, the plays to make. Listen to that. Nine of cups talks about your wishes being granted, your wishes being fulfilled. You getting all of your heart's desires. Knight of Wands talks about going after a passion. Being on a hot pursuit of something. Being bold. Being assertive. You know, fighting for your dreams. Fighting for your passions. Okay? Listening to your intuition. For spirits, some of y'all with this Knight of Wands. Because the Knight of Wands is also the player card in the deck. Spirit is also giving y'all some intuition about someone who could be a player. That you're dealing with. That could be at that hoja. Okay. But you're looking at this person like they're your wish fulfillment. They're your wish granted. Or they could come off as your wish is granted. And they out here doing ho shit. So what is spirit telling you about this connection? Again, Knight of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, fire energy. Anything else for intuition, spirit? Tell me more. Tell me more for intuition. For my baby booze, thank you for that. The top, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I told y'all I had been picking up on tower energy from the moment we started this. And the tower comes out in reverse. Tower in reverse talks about avoiding a tower moment. And spirit is saying, if you listen to your fucking intuition, you will avoid a tower moment. Because like I said, you all can forego that intuition if you want to. And build some shit on this shaky ass ground. Spirit just gonna come and go. Shoo, and all of that shit gonna topple. Everything gonna topple. Ruins. So spirit is asking you to avoid a tower moment. It could be with this knight of cups. This person in and out of your life. This person don't want to make a commitment. You know. It's fire sign. It's playboy. Or this could either be you. Going after something, fighting for something that you have no business. Listen to your intuition and avoid a tower. I'm trying to tell you, listen to that intuition to avoid a tower. It's trying to help you. God is trying to tell you something. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else, Spirit? <sighs> Queen of Swords, yeah. Make decisions observe analyze listen pay attention to what is being shown to you with this queen of swords make decisions cut motherfuckers off be cold-blooded with it cold-hearted if you need to be no bullshit with the queen of swords icy on these holes spirit is showing you what you need to make decisions about what you need to make cuts on what you need to make judgments on Queen of Swords, you could have air placements, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But that Queen of Swords, she's cutthroat. She's straight to the point. Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have some sort of celebration coming. You know, this is you focusing on yourself with the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. Focus on your bag. Focusing on your craft. You know, focusing on your money, your work, rolling your sleeves up. But also the Queen of Cups, talking about your intuition. The Queen of Cups is very intuitive. Okay, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, or Pisces placements. She's also very emotionally mature. She doesn't allow her feelings to get in the way. Her feelings, you know, fuck her over and fuck her up. No, ma'am. No, sir. Three of Cups. This talks about some sort of reconciliation or a party. Happy times. You know, you have great times coming towards you. Spirit is asking you to be patient. Spirit is asking you to be patient and not desperate. Okay? Because all parties ain't good parties. 
All clubs ain't good clubs. All lounges ain't a good time. Just because it's a club, just because it's a party, just because it's a whatever, does not guarantee it a good time. So use your discernment. Okay, listen to your intuition. Especially with this Three of Cups, because the Three of Cups can also talk about reconciliation. You could have people trying to reconcile with you as well. We are in the shadows of Mercury Retrograde. Okay, I'm going to make a post for my Boo Crew members. I'm going to write up, um, do a little blog about Mercury Retrograde since we're in the shadows, which you all can expect, how to maneuver through it. You know, um, some affirmations for you all. Let me do some see, affirmations. I want to do maybe some journal prompts or some shit like that. Um, I like doing those for y'all. So I'll drop those. I'll drop those in our community. Um, if not today, definitely tomorrow. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you could be feeling stuck. You know, these people with this Knight of Pentacles, this could be people coming towards you. This could be a, a earth sign coming towards you or even that Knight of Wands, a, fi a fire sign coming towards you to reconcile. This could have been someone who tried to bread from you, you know, who tried to nickel and dime you. Listen to your intuition about these motherfuckers. You know, but like I said, with Mercury Retrograde, this can be people trying to return you know, have a talk, have some closure, just have conversations, rekindle things. Just because somebody wants to rekindle shit with you does not mean you let them. Does not mean that's a good deal for you. That's something for them. King of Cups, what I tell you, somebody coming. And that's been coming out in all the readings. Somebody is coming for you. A King of Cups, it could be a, a past love connection. They could be a, a water sign, Pisces. Uh, Scorpio Cancer. But yeah, just because someone wants to engage with you does not mean that you should engage with them. That's a them problem. You want to engage with me. I don't want to engage with you. Reciprocity. If you engaging with them means that you're going to pay that tab, what are you doing? Just because they want to engage with you. You don't send them motherfuckers on their way. Okay. Tell them they can't stay here. They can't sit here. Okay. Okay. If the messages are resonating for you, don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm. And it makes your girl so happy. But yeah, I feel like a lot of you all are going to have a lot of people trying to come back to you. People who may feel like you've left them out in the cold. Or you could be winning. And they've been sitting back watching you. You know, they may even come back off of that. Oh, well, you're looking good. Or, oh, well, it's nice to see you doing good. A bitch, if you don't get the fuck out of my face. I bet it is nice to see me doing good. Okay? But, yeah, just be on the lookout. Listen to your intuition. Okay? And I'm going to leave it here. Okay, I hope these messages brought you all some clarity, some comfort, some closure, whatever it was you were looking for. I hope you found it here with me. I am your girl, A. Nicole. This has been such an honor to do for you all. Okay, I want y'all to keep y'all head up. Y'all already know y'all better keep that motherfucking bread up. Okay, and please, 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 please keep these hoes fed the fuck up, y'all, so they can shit the fuck up, y'all. I'm your girl, A. Nicole. I will catch you all on another video. Okay? I'm out. Bye-bye.